Uh, for this patient who's 20 years post-RK, we're going to use a variety of technologies to achieve an excellent stable outcome uh, for her refractive cataract surgery. Here we're uh, imaging the structures in the front of the eye using the Catalyst femtosecond laser system and you can see the surface fits and safety and treatment zones. The capsulotomy in this uh, upgraded software is applied in less than two seconds and then the lens material is softened at a 500 micron grid spacing. And the lower pressure system of this uh, femtosecond laser provides an added measure of safety in terms of incisional integrity given the history of radial keratotomy. For these cases I employ a cast incision developed by Howard Gimbel and this uh, permits me to place an incision at essentially any location despite the history of radial keratotomy. I will check the capsulotomy for its completeness and this is done using a touchdown technique in each of the areas of incisions that overlie the capsulotomy. Once I'm assured that the capsule is completely separated, it's then removed easily. Hydrodissection is very normal here with a good mobilization of the nucleus. I employ a chop technique using a standard vertical chopper. Uh, the FACO tip here is an MST Dewey radius tip, 700 microns in internal diameter uh, without an ABS port. Uh, this is a Kelvin style tip and given the Dewey radius uh, treatment to the bevel, this permits a greater level of safety in terms of um, approaching more peripheral material within the capsular bag and also it permits a, permits a more efficient evacuation of this softened nuclear material. No ultrasound energy has been used during this nuclear evacuation. Cortical removal is very normal using a standard coaxial IA tip. And it's very efficient as well. And after polishing and curating the capsular bag, I'm going to prepare the lens for implantation. It's a toric lens as I mentioned. I use a wound assist technique. And the lens is secured within the capsular bag with the orientation of the toric lens confirmed using a Mastel keratoscope. The cast incision is a very stable wound despite being placed underneath a prior radial cut from the keratotomy and we can see no evidence of gaping or wound issue here. A minor discontinuity corresponds to a previous radial scar and this was noted earlier in the case when confirming freedom of the capsulotomy. The lens is extremely stable and an excellent result follows. Thank you.